Let me explain something very interesting. Sins are divided into two in Islam. Minor sins and major sins. The major sins are those wherein Allah has mentioned a specific punishment for. Right? Those are major sins. The rest are actually minor sins. So we're taught by the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu that when you do good deeds, automatically the minor sins are just wiped out. They're gone. Even though I did not specifically seek forgiveness for those minor sins. You know, we live in an age where as you walk out, as you look up, as you turn around, minor sins keep happening here and there. Some of them might be intentional. You know, it's not easy to control the eyes sometimes. And sometimes you say, oh, you don't realize I'm looking at something I'm not supposed to be looking at. And I have the audacity to say, mashallah. Right? And the sister has the audacity to say, thank you so much. Jazakumullah khair. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. We don't realize it because we're living in an age where that happens on a daily basis. So Allah says, when you do good deeds, the minor sins are wiped out. One salah to another salah, the Prophet peace be upon him says, kafaratul lima baynahuma. They expiate the minor sins, deleted and cancelled automatically between the two prayers. Shouldn't I be praying five times a day? The Quran. Allah says, indeed, good deeds will automatically delete the bad deeds. Good deeds automatically delete your bad deeds. A guy comes up to me and says, you know what? I've done a lot of bad. What should I do? I said, seek forgiveness and now do a lot of good. The reason is there is a scale on the day of judgment where your deeds are weighed. Allah did not say those who committed sin are not going to go into Jannah. Allah says, you know what? If you have more good deeds than bad deeds, you go into paradise. Subhanallah. And this is not referring to the bad deeds you've been forgiven of. It's referring to those you did not seek forgiveness from. When Allah says, I don't forgive shirk, which is association of partnership with me. He's not talking about those who sought forgiveness from it. He's talking about those who died and did not seek forgiveness. So if you're alive, even shirk Allah forgives. Look at the companions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Look at them. What were they before Islam? The bulk in Mecca to Mukarramah were known as Mushrikeen. They were known as people who associated partners with Allah. When they accepted Islam, in Islam, Islam wipes out, deletes, cancels, covers that which was done before it in terms of bad. The same applies to Tawbah. Same applies to the pilgrimage. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, whoever goes for pilgrimage and does not engage in immorality or abuse or evil while in the pilgrimage, they will come back as clean as the day their mothers gave birth to them. Meaning, sins will be wiped out. Not that your good deeds are wiped out as well. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Dinjon and Dinjon Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.